then to enjoy this is crooked there you go birds and that's all i do with them <laughs> he didn't feel like getting up last night before I had to go to bed because I have school in the morning. But he knows he's hungry and I'm giving him food. Come on, baby.
Did I see how big my hair is? If you don't sniff your hamster, you're doing something wrong. I just had to say that. I'm gonna go okay, so now I'm gonna show you what I feed him. So this is like a lot of his food, but I keep a lot of his treats in this cubicle. Mr. Moose is drinking water. He loves to drink water at daytime, randomly, which is his, like, midnight, you know what I mean? And I do that too. I love water in the middle of the night. It hits different, and I think he has the same feelings. Right, Moose? Is that so good? He has both a water bottle and a water bowl because I believe that they should have the choice to choose whichever way. It's more natural in my opinion, but is that good? Let's get your food so you don't go back to bed before I get your food. He has his snuggle sack and stuff down here, by the way, but I'll give you guys like more in-depth tours of everything in the future. Don't worry. Um, but I have his little treat um, container full of a lot of his treats, but these are just like hand-picked. Most of his treats are in just in big jar jars. Sorry for any background noise because my family just got home, but this is the first thing that is a part of his diet and it is my favorite food to feed along with Missouri rat blocks, lab blocks, um, as a seed mix because it has the most diversity and uh, nutrition. Um, so it's the Higgins Sunburst Gourmet Blend. He's still chugging away up here, good boy. So he gets um, one and a half tablespoons of this. And then this deflated bag looking thing is the last of the mix from Strong Brew Hamstery that he used to be on and I give him about half a tablespoon of this because I'm still quote unquote weaning him off. Really I'm just trying to use this all up but it looks like it's seen better times. Then I just mix them up so that they're completely mixed. And now I'm going to scatter it around his enclosure. Are you ready? Oh, you want it so bad? He's a sunflower seed. Oh my gosh, you want more? Yeah. You stole the banana. No, I gotta scatter it. Okay. Okay, so I'm scattering it. He's pissed off because I don't have it scattered all ready for him. And he has his specific spots where he always gets it. And he's really hungry because it's been a hot second since he got his last meal. AKA a day. He acts like I starve him, as most hamsters do. But he's hungry and he wants his favorite bits, but he already ate them because he stole them out of the food bowl before I was ready to scatter them because I kind of only have one hand. <laughs> Is that good? I'm just going to scatter this a little bit. So now there's like only small seeds left in the bowl. Now I'm going to add his Missouri lab blocks and a few other So things. now I'm adding his lab blocks into his bowl. That is plenty and I'll also put a few around his cage for him to find. Yummy! So that's how that looks. He's very hungry. Look at his little butt. Oh my gosh. That's his lovely cork log where I get lots of stunning photos of him. Look at his butt. Fluffy butt. Anyways. He's just feasting right now. So next I'm gonna add a little bit of this freeze-dried chicken. It's like a cat treat. I don't know why I have the bag in the cage, but I'm not used to having to film this process, but I'm gonna give him a little piece of his food bowl. There's that. He doesn't really love it that much, but it's a good uh, source of animal protein for him, and he does eat it. Next we have some mealworms. Oh, you want mealworms? They're just in the lid. He doesn't get all of these. This is just how I sort them. So I just put, these aren't the best, okay. Freeze-dried mealworms that are marketed towards leopard geckos, but do not feed freeze-dried mealworms, feed live mealworms, thank you very much. But these are great, another source of animal protein for your hamster, and it's a good treat. So I'm gonna put like two in his bowl. Do you want one? Moose? Sorry. Moose? Yeah. Yum. 
that's his whimsy dog chew by the way i love the alligator ones they're the cutest anyways so now i'm gonna put one more and then i'm gonna put one on his log which is like his favorite place for me to put scattered food on usually I do a better job than just one spot but i only have one hand um and then i'll put like one in his bedding for him to find and then the last one will just be on his chamber hide for him to get so those are the mealworms and he also has his chicken a weasel what are you doing are you looking for mealworms He's adorable. Hello, Moose. Do you want this? You hear that? What's this? This is a piece of pasta shaped like a dinosaur. Here. Is that good? Oh, goes in the pouch. And then this is the last of his Cheerios from Strong Brew. I'm gonna order some more of these baby food Cheerios. Oh, that's the one in the photo. I don't know if I'm gonna post that. And then a Gerber, because you're such a good boy today. Is that yummy? I put his water dish up on a wooden ledge because it keeps uh, staining the nice wood chamber hide. Okay, so I'm gonna let him be and that's gonna be the end of this video. I'm not gonna show me giving him veggies because I'm gonna post a story about that, I think. Um, and he might not be up, then I won't post a story, but he has his pouches all full, so I'm gonna let him go back to bed because it's literally like 6.30, maybe seven, which is pretty early and he's pretty sleepy. Cool. Anyways, Moose says bye. I forgot to say this is his cage all clean for the day, except for he already went back in his sand bath, but he's still eating. <laughs> but his wheel's clean, he has fresh water in both his water sources, and he has food, and tomorrow I'll give him some more forage mix, which is his like herbs and leaves, and he still has some sprays left, and I'll let it out. Okay, I guess you bye. Okay, now for real bye. Obviously I do more in my evening, but that's all with the pets for tonight, other than getting him some veggies. He's gonna go nest. <laughs> bye, Moose. So yeah, guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed. I'm so glad Moose got up early for you guys, because I didn't wake him, because you shouldn't wake your hamster. He actually just got up because he gets up for food. He doesn't get up for much else. Um, <laughs> he's a pretty lazy hamster, but I love him. He went back to bed already, because he got what he wanted, which was food. So that is the end of this video.